This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of June 8th through the 14th. So we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here to get an overall energy. June 8th through the 14th. What do we have for Cancer? I got a couple. We only want one. One card, please. What do we have for Cancer for the week of June 8th through the 14th? What do we have for Cancer? Oh, control. It's all about control this week. So we got some puppet strings here. You got control. Somebody is probably under another person's control. Okay? So that's going to be the focus of the week. Interesting about probably cutting yourself free or somebody cutting themselves free from you this could go vice versa there's a this is a week of obviously being controlled somebody is being controlled by another person so that is going to be dealt with this week so what do we have for cancer this week what about for monday what do we have for monday Lovers. Seven of Cups reversed. Tuesday. Oh, death. Temperance reversed. Wednesday. The moon. And the Ten of Coins. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Cancer, please. Sunday, one more card. That's two. One more card. Fairness, justice on Sunday. Overall energy for Cancer for this week with this deck overall energy for the week Ooh, the hangman suspension sacrifice in a state of limbo stuck needing to look at things from a new perspective so somebody may be wasting time or you know taking some time to think about a situation uh, you know waste wait, I feel like it's wasting time I mean I have to be honest with you so it's interesting because it, I feel like it's very similar energies here. Um, obsessed with control. The hangman is obsessed with control. Okay. And needing to go within and um, let go of something, but unable to do so. So that's the energy of the week. So Monday, the lovers and the seven of cups reversed so somebody is tempted they are tempted by a lover okay whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with there's temptation over a lover here um unexpectedly there's it, it is this is a choice and there's there's multiple choices okay this is a choice this is a choice okay so there's there's definitely some options here somebody is thinking about their options and they do have options so there could be a third party situation here. There's obviously a choice between two. Um, I feel as though, and also there's also a choice whether somebody wants to be in a commitment, whether they want to get married, whether they want to be together because there's so many other options. Somebody is not seeing clearly and they need to really open their eyes. Yeah, they do. It feels like they are tempted. And if you think about the lover's card, usually it's Adam. It's like an Adam and Eve kind of thing. Not always, but you know, there's a lot of temptation here. Somebody is tempted by another option. So Monday, there's going to be the temptations are going to be on a high at a high level. Okay, so that somebody is going to be presented with something that is very, you know, tempting to grab onto. Okay, and this could be a new lover. It could happen unexpectedly. Or you could have, it could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Um, it feels like we're dealing with a water sign here, another water sign. Uh, or it's you. 
or it's you. It could be a Gemini, but I feel like it's another water sign. I feel like um, you're going to be tempted to, to do something that, whether it's you or the other person, somebody's going to be tempted to do something that there will be consequences. These are both cards of consequences. There's conse They are. So there's there's be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. Okay, so Monday is a day where you are going to be presented with an option that if you go down that road, you know, you will be committed to it. So be careful with the choice that you make on Monday. Tuesday, we have the death card and temperance reversed. Now, temp tem temperance comes after death. So something ends or has ended or is ending, okay? It either has or is or it's coming to an end, okay? This is an ending. Death is an ending that leads to new beginnings. Now, temperance comes after the death card, but this is reversed. So this is not accepting the death, not accepting the ending, not accepting the profound change. So on Tuesday, there's a level of frustration, you know, that something has ended or it's coming to an end. So you're going to, somebody's going to be frustrated. They're going to be upset. They're going to be feeling imbalanced. They're going to be re-examining, okay, with the temperance reverse. Somebody's gone overboard. Um, now this, this is, it could be even be an onset of illness, okay, with this card, okay. Something isn't right. Something isn't right and something, you know, could end on Tuesday, okay. This is a, is a feeling uneasy, you know, maybe even getting sick, feeling sick to your stomach. It's definitely an imbalance. So I think that Tuesday is a day of needing to accept an ending, but really not wanting to, you know, not wanting to go with the flow, not wanting to allow it, not wanting to blend to create harmony, fighting the ending basically, which causes frustration when you can't accept that something is over. So I think that Tuesday is going to be an uneasy day. I'm just being honest with you. Wednesday, moon and ten of pentacles. This has to do with the home. It has to do with an establishment, establishment. either it's a home, a work, a business. Um, uh, all is not as it seems. All is not as it seems on Wednesday. There's something hidden. There is something hidden. Somebody may be saving their money. They, they may be saving their money or uh, what are they doing? I feel like it's a very secretive energy. So on Wednesday, somebody is thinking, they're planning a move. And I think that there's, there's, there's secrets here that somebody is hiding some money. That just came out of my mouth. And they're doing it very well. <clears throat> it could, and, and maybe you reveal it. Maybe you figure this out. May have to do with a child. They, maybe they're giving some money to a child. Somebody's trying to get money to move out. They're trying to, you know, uh, they're pretending to be happy. Something on Wednesday. Something on Wednesday. Somebody, so all is not as it seems. You need to be careful. Somebody is lying. There's some sort of deception around money at home. Um, I think somebody is uh, giving money to somebody else or something like that. <coughs> Sorry. Somebody is lying about their money. What the hell is going on on Wednesday? They're lying. Oh, it's not as it seems. They are pretending that their business is flourishing or that their home life is flourishing, but it's not. <coughs> Recognition is going to get recognized. It's going to get recognized.
this is this is a uh, moving out of the conflict moving away from the competition there could be some public recognition somebody may may say something and it could in public recognition can could be facebook you know what i mean i don't know something is is going to be shown and that was hidden and it does it does have it's around money it's around money it's around home it's about assets or a business or something like that but this is also this this is like publicly being publicly recognized for something but it's a lie it's a lie all is not as it seems i feel like somebody's pretending that they are stable that they are solid that they are secure that they that everything is good and they they have a they have a lot of people that admire them you know but it's all a lie it's all a lie it's not the life that they are living is a lie hmm. yeah they're not doing so well they're not and i think that's going to come out i think that they're financially unstable there's insecurity there could be a loss of money you know this person presents themselves to be all victorious and successful but they're not so on Wednesday, I don't know who you're dealing with, but the truth may come out regarding the whole situation, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody is pretending to be stable and secure, and whether it's financially stable or or in, and secure, or it's uh, internally. This person is not secure. They are not stable. They are not self-sufficient. Uh, they don't have a lot of value to add. They uh, don't have their shit together, and I think the truth is going to come out on Wednesday. Maybe publicly. Maybe. Let's talk about Thursday. Ah, the King of Wands reversed. And the Sun card. Could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius over here on this day. Could be a father. Could be a boss. Could be a business owner. Could this Whoever this person is, they are ruthless. They are unreasonable. Um, Self-centered. Egotistical. Uh controlling this and it doesn't matter what sign this is this person is very controlling then we have this happiness it's a new day it's a breakthrough this person thursday a controlling individual is shining very brightly because this is very bright shining very bright enlightenment enlightened something is being shown in regards to this uh, this will carry on from wednesday this is enlightenment. This is it being shown. Somebody's true character is going to be shown Wednesday and Thursday. This person is an egotistical, controlling, very egotistical, controlling individual. We have a, we got a problem here. We definitely have a problem here. We do. And it is going to be shown. It's starting to come out on Wednesday night. And by the morning... By morning, it's really going to be clear. It's really going to be clear. This person may get angry. They may throw a fit. They may get really angry. Um, turning point. Wheel of Fortune. This is a turning point. This is a cycle coming to an end for an individual. It's going to lead to happiness, but they may get angry with the change. Because that that uh, that King of Wands in reverse, this person is a tyrant per se. This person gets very angry, doesn't like change. You notice there's a mask on, doesn't want to see it, doesn't want to accept it. But this is changing. We have a we have a cycle that is coming to an end. Something is definitely going to be revealed on on Wednesday into Thursday, which is going to change someone's path. Okay, by morning. Um, may have to deal with wheels or vehicles or something like that. Anyway, by morning, um, something is going to be shown. Reckless. Reckless behavior. Recklessness. This is being led into danger. The Knight of Swords reverse. This is a clueless individual who is very, very ignorant. A know-it-all that's looking for a fight. A blamer, too, with these two cards. Blaming somebody. Now, this could be an accident. I'm not sure what is happening. But 
this, if you think about the Wheel of Fortune, it could be a fortunate accident that leads to somebody in a new direction towards happiness, breaks somebody free from the puppet string. So <laughs> destiny is playing out here. Karma is playing out. Somebody is going to do something stupid and they're going to get who they really are is going to come out, put it that way. And, and, and I think this is all happening because somebody has been not accepting that something is over. And so the universe will throw catalysts and situations into your life to make you wake up, to, to make you accept that whatever is, is, you know. Anyhow, the Knight of Swords reversed is uh, a dangerous situation. This person may have mental health issues. This is explosive energy with the King of Wands reversed in the, in the Knight of Swords reversed. This, somebody could... Um, be feeling the heat, be feeling the heat of whatever is happening up here and they explode. You know what I mean? Some sort of, some sort of situation. This is a shock. The Knight of Swords is like a, almost like a tower moment. It's a shocking change. It really is. Some, something is going to happen on Thursday that changes a person's direction. It could be an accident. I'm just being honest with you. I'm not sure what kind of... There's all kinds of accidents in the world. So don't don't get all upset or anything. Um, Friday. Two of Wands and the Five of Cups. So this is grieving. Which this... Grieving over loss. Crying over the spilled milk. Not realizing that there's another opportunity. That's when we... It's funny. I hadn't even looked at these cards. Sorry. I hadn't even looked at him. I just looked down. So we got we got grieving over a loss, not realizing we got two here and two here that there's another opportunity. It's time to focus on the future. Somebody has the has another opportunity, probably at, in a different spot. Okay, and maybe it's another location, but they haven't been uh, exploring that option because they were grieving over this ending that they really didn't want to accept. So I think on on Friday, this is uh, focusing on the future. Uh, grieving over the whatever happened here that made you realize the truth and really, really deciding to, to uh, leave that painful situation behind but still feeling the pain. So I think Friday, it's, it's, it's a period of mourning perhaps, you know, grieving over a loss, not realizing that everything happens for a reason. There's another opportunity waiting for you. So, something is happening on Friday that is, is going to help you to leave this situation behind that has no more growth that you've been reluctant to uh, let go of, you know. Maybe, and, and ego is huge here. Letting go of ego and pride. People hold on to things that aren't meant, to them, be, meant for them because of ego and pride. Because they, you know, what's everybody else going to say? I made a mistake. It's embarrassing. You know, or fear or, or the lack of desire to start over or I don't want to be alone. There's so many reasons why people do it. So anyway, um, Friday is a day of focusing on the future. That moment of decision, it's almost, I feel like you're almost like forced to. It's like there's some sort of significant loss that forces you to... Uh, focus on the future on Friday. You're, it's all about the future. It's like you can't do this anymore. You don't. There's, it's almost like you don't have a choice. You can't go down that path anymore that you are going down because something has happened that is so significant that uh, you know it changes everything. It changes everything. So be prepared for a cycle to end. And a new cycle to be to begin. Now this is being at the right place at the right time. This is karma and destiny that is uh, closing out a cycle for you. Like it or not. So. Saturday. Strength reversed. Weakness. And the Queen of Swords, the professional. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But we have a professional here. You're definitely dealing with a professional. This could be somebody that works for the law. There could be some... Um, this could be a lawyer. It could be... You could hear from a lawyer or, or somebody that... Um, 
is bringing you some sort of information. So this is this is Saturday. It could be a professional speaker. Now this on Saturday this the strength reversed is a lack of control, unable to master emotions, feeling weak, feeling sick, feeling ill, having a hard time getting out of bed. You may be feeling uh, bitter, okay? There could be some bitterness on Saturday. Um, feeling inadequate. Feeling like it was your fault. Intimidation. On Saturday, you may be feeling intimidated by an individual. This person is harsh. They are bitter. They are resentful. Um, or this could be you. This is uh, hearing the truth, receiving the truth, accepting the truth, knowing the truth. The Queen of Swords speaks the truth. I think that you are going to uh, hear something on Saturday that is very honest and truthful and to the point that probably may bring you to your knees. I don't know, I, I don't like to say that, but, you know, makes you feel weak or makes you feel sick. This person is coming with some sort of information on Saturday. Um, it's very truthful, honest information. It's very matter of fact. It's a fact. And it may make you feel, um, you know, this could be a depression um, you could be dealing with a person that lacks respect for you. This is a very controlling, strength reversed is controlling. Uh, this is cutting. This, this is the knife that cuts. And this is about control. Somebody is getting cut. They're getting cut out based on the facts. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. It is definitely gonna be rough. You may be feeling emotionally weak. You may be having a hard time mastering your emotions, and you may need to uh, close yourself down from. I hate to say that, but the but the Queen of Swords is an individual who goes cold. Okay, she's she's cold. Okay, so you know. Also, when you get the Queen of Swords, you know, this is independence. So somebody may be choosing to go their own way because they're severing ties. They're severing ties. They're, they're, cutting, they're cutting themselves free from a situation where they have been under another person's control. This is freedom. Sunday, contemplation. Not interested. I don't want to. I'm not. I don't care anymore. There's definitely some legal issues that are probably going to be popping up. You may be, you know, getting served some sort of papers or somebody is making plans to do that. This is doing the right thing. Uh, this is also a card of karma. Okay, so somebody is, is not interested and it could be karmically. We have karma a couple times, so there could be some karma here. It's like this person is no longer interested. Somebody is getting what they deserve in the form of karma. Karma never loses an address. On Sunday, um, something is turning out exactly as it should because uh, somebody is losing an opportunity. It's like they're no longer interested. Somebody is like, you know what? I don't want to do this. I'm turning my back on you. I'm going after what I deserve. Somebody is getting the karma that they deserve for uh, maybe cheating in the past. Something like that. Consequences. It starts with consequences and ends with karma. So there's something going on. Somebody, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, somebody is going to be getting some sort of uh, justice for the pain that they caused another person by the looks of things. That's what I think this is. I think it is a week of, of somebody breaking free from somebody's control. It's not going to be easy, put it that way. This is consequences as well. I'm not interested. I don't want you anymore. I'm not interested anymore. 
So whatever happens this week is really going to, it's basically, I feel like it's going to rip the blindfold right off and it's going to force you to accept the profound change that you have been trying to ignore. Good luck.